Hello viewers, Miss Cal here. This is an attempt to make um, a graphene based electrode um, bacterial fuel cell. Uh, I'm sure it's going to behave very capacitor like. So the idea is we open up this laminator sheet. Lay an electrode down. Now, how am I going to get the electrodes out without destroying it? Uh, maybe I should just hang them out a bit. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it. So I'll hang it out like that. Uh, this is a Chuck's wipe that's been soaked in the, the mud at the bottom of the bucket for the um, for the uh, electric bacteria experiment. Uh, I think there's a bit of soap on the on the material as well that I just grabbed one from under the sink so uh, it's not a clean chuck so the control you know, and the inputs on this is a little bit how's your father alright so we'll overlay that one like that you can see that the borders of the chucks go outside of the electrode surface area so that way there should be no shorting across the plates um, just want to make sure they're nicely lined up the laminate is hot and ready to go I can just fold that up and I'll give myself a bit more room by cutting this edge off To the laminator we go. Nothing gets stuck or bent. Here we go. And so once this comes out the other side, I'm going to have to form a voltage across it. And hopefully, there's enough moisture on the chucks. on hot. Oh, bloody hell. Gonna have to let that heat up again before I put it through. Oh, that was a fail. So the whole idea that I'm after here is something that's very easy to make at home in the shed and make thin pack films and um, you know if it's if it's gonna work out then I'll be able to you know punch out a bunch of these I was seeing like 1.2 up to 1.9 volts across it um, in the in the bucket and the plates weren't even close together yeah, looks like the water might be a problem sealing, but um, anyway, we'll get there. Let's try that again. coming out clear so that's got enough heat into it. The problem with the heat is going to move the moisture around and squeeze the moisture out the end when it tries to seal it. And I want that moisture locked in not uh, pushed out the end. The other thing I'm worried about is uh, gas bubbles forming when the, um, the current is being pushed into it. 
because that of course would stuff things up. It sounds like I can hear bubbles cooking in there. Oh, that's weird. It's probably steaming the bloody liquid out the end. Finding the right amount of moisture to put on the chucks might be um, the challenge. Yeah, it's definitely steaming in there. And we just run it through a few times until it's squeezed all the air pockets and steam out. It's nearly sealed. Keep going. There's a bubble in there. Uh, it's got a exit entry. You know, it might pay to have a vent on them if it's going to create gas. But we don't know yet. Probably a good idea I don't push more than three volts into it when I'm trying to form the cell as well. The consistency feels good, it's sort of stiffened up to like a cardboard sort of feel. I was thinking of putting some of the um, oxalic acid vinegar brew in as an electrolyte but uh, the idea of the gas form uh, gas formation is probably going to be a lot higher with that sort of setup so definitely would need a vent in that situation um, yeah. Yeah, I can hear it steaming out the end it's definitely stuffing the seal up you can see the bubble there Nice to have a good camera. I don't have to say, uh, not sure if you can see that. <laughs> Let's go in the other way. I reckon not sure if you can see that is probably the most commonly said thing ever on YouTube. Bloody autofocus. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, it's still not sealed properly. It doesn't help that the bloody thing had soap on it either. Oh well, it's a, it's a start. Can hear steam. So, what is it, guys? Capacitor or fuel cell? Get that out of the way and stick the meter on there and see what kind of readings come out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Volts? Is it polarized? Tiny bit. Which way is negative? This side's negative. I should probably stick with uh, whichever side's decided it's negative. And that way I won't be forcing the electrons the wrong way when I. Oh wow, I just saw a lizard. Let's check him out. Little gecko over here. Alright, back to the task at hand. Alrighty. Okay, so.
So, this side's negative. Yep, 20 millivolts. Let's put it on capacity. How many nanofarad do we have? Is that right? Just keeps going up, it's not going to settle. Well, let's push some voltage into it. Okay, probably the easiest way to do this would be that. That's not going to work. Get the crocodile lead. Two crocodile leads. White is the new black, yellow is the new red, and let's form Probably put the uh, probes up under there, let's see what's going on. Okay. Point five. I'll just hold it at one point five. And I'll let go. So, uh, yeah, feel free to give me some ideas and feedback on, you know, how I should proceed with this. This is the whole way I want to go, is have something that I can punch out on the laminator, something I can use, just graphite, um, graphene, electrodes, and just low-tech, and come up with either capacitor or battery or um, bacterial fuel cell, and uh, see where we can go with it, because uh, surely, you know, there's more to be had with this graphene stuff. Alright, that's a 13 minute video. That's, that'll take forever to upload. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, rate. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button over here. Yes, I finally learnt how to do annotations. I should have done that zonks ago.